God will make a way Where there seems to be no way He works in ways we cannot see He will make a way for me He will be my guide Hold me closely to His side With love and strength for each new day he will make a way, He will make a way. Oh, God will make a way, where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me, He will be my guide. Hold me closely to His side With love and strength for each new day He will make a way He will make a way By a roadway in the wilderness Rivers in But His word is true And He will do something new today Oh God will make a way Where there seems to be no way He works in ways we cannot see He will make a way For each new day, He will make a way. He will make a way with love and strength. For each new day, He will make a way. He will make a Brothers and sisters, uh, magandang gabi po sa lahat. Uh, maayong gabi, ganatong tanan sa lahat po ng ating mga kasamahan. Um, mabati po ako ng napakagandang araw po para po sa ating po lahat. It's a second Sunday of Lent, brothers and sisters. Uh, by the way, thank you po sa ating pong uh, Love Pluck Chapters, um, parang reunion, meeting. Thank you Lord, naka-attend po ako doon sa ating meeting. Thank you po, Brother Jing, Brother Elmer. Uh, Sister Ao, thank you Brother Vincent, uh, Sister Gurley sa pagmamanage po, uh, Sister Denise sa pagmamanage po ng ating pong, uh, uh, virtual meeting po. Thank you very much. In behalf of our head uh, servant, Brother Vincent Bimbong Crisologo, our spiritual director, uh, Monsignor Albert Venus, uh, Brother Jing, our head counselor, and our Love Plak Cebu spiritual advisor, Father Siano Ubud, Welcome to our Love Plak Cebu, Be Inspired. Uh, this is your host, uh, Brother Vic Cabral of Love Plak Cebu. Our guest uh, for tonight, brothers and sisters, is our very own, our youth leader, uh, Brother Glenn Toledo. Um, together, brothers and sisters, uh, we, we, will, uh, we will be inspired with the songs and praises by our very own uh, Sister Ella Ruby uh, from Cebu. Brother Raul Alvarez from San Fernando, Pampanga. Brother Raul, salamat po sa pagpapaunlak nyo po ng uh, pagkakataon para po tayo ay marinig, maka-inspired po sa ating mga kapatid. And another one, um, marinig po natin mamaya si Brother Armel Catalan of our main love plot. Our topic for, for tonight is From Darkness to Light. Yeah. Alam nyo po, um, madalas uh, sa buhay po natin, di ba kumisan, <clears throat> Ang problema po ay sinasabi nating kadiliman. Ang kasalanan po sinasabi nating kadiliman. Kaya nga madalas, ang kadiliman po, kailangan po ng liwanag. 
Kaya po, samahan niyo po ako sa may clean panalangin para po sa ating Be Inspired Prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, help us pay close attention to ourselves so that we may grow spiritually as a person. We pray that we persevere in all things, especially in spreading your gospel, your goodness, with inspiration, motivation, and determination. Because your word says that you will ensure our salvation when we do so. We pray that we do not become discouraged by the world, by this pandemic, by difficulties. Instead, instead help us to push through the trials and tribulation we face. May we glorify you in this program. The love flock be inspired and give inspiration and encouragement to many people in Jesus' mighty name, with the intercession of our dearly Mother Mary. Amen and Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And you know, brothers and sisters, yun niya po, sabi ko nga po eh, uh, yun, yun, po yung, yun po yung isang maganda eh. No? Um, tayo, po na, tayo po na nakita na natin, na-encounter na natin ang ating Panginoon, nakita na natin ang liwanag, naging yung ating pagiging Saul ay eh, naging, naging, naging Pablo na po. No? Um, Ibig sabihin po ay yung kadiliman ng ating buhay ay nagkakaroon ng liwanag. And as we go on on our journey with the Lord, in our renewal, as being a charismatic, of course, uh, minsan eh, nagsasabi tayo na eto na naman, madilim na naman, eto na naman, may problema na naman. Eh, for sure, brothers and sisters, wala naman pong accepted sa trials. Wala naman pong accepted sa problema. Lahat po tayo nagkakaproblema. At yun po yung, yung likas po sa ating tao na tayo wala pong exempted sa problema. But one thing good and the good news is there is light. And it is the light. It is Jesus, ang ating Panginoon po, ang liwanag po ng ating buhay. And tonight, brothers and sisters, uh, to share with us, uh, paano po yung buhay niya na galing sa madilim ay napunta po sa liwanag when he encountered Jesus. He is our, our love plucked youth mates leader to share with us tonight the topic from darkness to light. Let us welcome with the love of the Lord, our brother in Christ, Brother Glenn Toledo. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise to Jesus. Amen, Brother Glenn. My brothers and sisters, good evening. I praise and thank God for giving me this opportunity to share my life on how God works. And my topic is darkness to light. My brothers and sisters, darkness is a partial or total absence of light. It's dark, it's black, like the night. Wickedness and evil are the forces of darkness. Light is a natural agent that stimulates sight and that make things visible, like the light of the sun. Understanding of a problem or mystery is enlightenment. Light is a spiritual illumination by divine truth. My brothers and sisters, human as we are, we are too many in this world. Everybody wants to be seen, everybody wants to be heard, Everybody, everybody wants to be on top. Everybody wants to get a position. People uses people that leads us of living a sinful, unworldly life full of hatred, anger, revenge, resentment, envy, jealous, pride greed of money, greed of time, greed of talent, lust, lust of eyes, and lust of flesh. Human as we are, living a worldly life will result to problems, will result to struggles, failures, frustrations, 
family problems, financial problems, health problems. And in my case, it leads me to drug addiction. But no matter how dark life is, there's always be solution. And every problem, our solution is God. For God so loved the world that He sent His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him will never perish, but have an everlasting life. At my darkest moment in my life, God is my light. John 8.12 Then Jesus again spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. My brothers and sisters, being a drug addict for 30 years, I've experienced the most profound darkness in my life. I lost my mother because of me. My Lola died because of me. And that's the price of being a drug addict for 30 long years. There are a lot of things that happens in an hour. How much more in a day, in a week, in a month, in a year, and how much more in 30 long years. I'm a person with high pride. What Glenn wants, Glenn gets. And if Glenn got it, I want more. Busy doing drugs from one day to the other, not knowing that my father is growing old. He got sick, and at the time he requested me for him to be admitted in the hospital, he gave me the combination of his vault. And when I opened the discussion, it, I got tempted to run away the cash and forgetting the illness of my father. I texted my sister to look after my father. Then they discovered that I got the money. A week after, my father died, and all my family members hated me. Drugs is killing me. I became a theft of my own home and becoming a professional swindler to all my friends, relatives, and the society I live in. I lost my family, I lost my job, and not knowing, I lost my dignity, and I lost my credibility. I am a sinner. I live a life full of hatred, anger, revenge, resentment, envy, jealous, pride, greed of money, greed of time, greed of talent, lust of eyes, lust of flesh, a worldly and a sinful. I believe that everything happens with a purpose and everything happens in God's will. My God is a God of second chances and my God delivered me from my hopeless situation. I was three years clean and serene then, but a trial came again and I was diagnosed with a paranasal cancer. I began to doubt my faith and question my God. Why me? I'm already serving you, but why is this happening? With self-will, I relapse. Everything is back to zero. The time I pick up, one is too many and a thousands never end. I failed a thousand times, but the love Mercy and compassion of my God remains. My God is a God of second chances. He helped me to recover. And the time I was picked up for rehabilitation, it was very humiliating. But it is a humbling experience. With the grace of God, He opened my mind, He opened my heart, 
to embrace recovery with honesty, open-mindedness, and willingness to change for the better. And God, my God, grant me the grace, the desire to stop using. The time I surrendered, I thought I was a loser, but I was wrong. I surrendered to win. I win back my family, my career, and my whole life. In my journey to recovery, I am blessed to have my Isla Home Group, my sponsor, Von T, and it gives me a chance to do service works, service works with Consolacion, CBRT program, and DOH Rehabilitation Center. It gave me a chance to carry the message, to carry the message of hope that recovery is possible and recovery is a priceless gift from God. On the day I called for help, God answered me. By the power of prayer, it cannot be explained, but it can be experienced in my life. As He gave me the grace of a new life, He saved me from the darkness and slavery of sin. And a little by little, God transformed me. By the power of the Holy Spirit, He transformed my life with the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Love, joy, peace, kindness, gentleness, patience, and self-control. The time I asked for help, God showed me the light, the light to a better future and the light to change for the better. He gave me the chance to know Him. Our God is the most powerful God. Our God is a healing God that gives us physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. Our God delivers us from our hopeless situation. God's Word is a source of a supernatural help, a Word that gives power to those who are tired and worn out. He offers strength to the weak, a Word that heals, a Word that changes me, and a Word that makes my life better. Finding love is finding Jesus. If we really want to love, you must learn how to forgive and ask forgiveness. God, grant me the grace to ask forgiveness to my family. Through forgiveness, it unlocks all the blessings of God for giving me a new life. Our family is our first community. Serving a loving God brought me back to love my family. I realize it's not what you lose, but what you gain. It's not who hates you, but who loves you. When you follow Jesus, sin will hate you, our vices will hate you, but we will gain our life back. We will receive the love, the joy, and the peace of Jesus. My brothers and sisters, I was once dead and now I came back to life. And this is all because of Jesus. Because Jesus loves me and Jesus gives me a chance to live again. My brothers and sisters, whatever we are going through, whatever our situation is, our problems, our health problems, our struggles, 
our hurts, our failures, our frustrations, or any disease, remember that we have a powerful God. His power to save, His power to deliver us from our hopeless situation, and His power to heal. God promised a greater things in store, a future filled with promise and hope. God, our great physician, can completely heal our broken hearts and bind our wounds, healing, and make us whole again. My brothers and sisters, the choice is yours. Everything lies in your hands and everything lies on your decisions. Everything is a process with steps that we need to put action behind. The process starts with a forgiving heart, a heart that knows how to embrace the cross, and a heart that knows how to recognize the will of God and to carry it to the end. If today you hear His voice, harden not your heart. My brothers and sisters, please join me in a prayer as we say, the Heavenly Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, you invite all who are burdened to come to you. Allow your healing hand to heal us. Touch our soul with your compassion for others. Touch our heart with your courage and infinite love for all. Touch our mind with your wisdom. And may my mouth always proclaim your praise. Teach us to reach out to you in all our needs. Help us to lead others to you by example. Most loving heart of Jesus, bring us health in body, mind, and spirit, that we may serve you with all our heart and strength. Touch gently this life which you have created, now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My brothers and sisters, to God be all the greatest glory. Have a great evening, and God bless us all. Amen.
from the Holy Gospel of Jesus according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The Transfiguration. After six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John with him and led them to a high mountain where they were all alone. There he was transfigured before them. His clothes became, became dazzling white, whiter than anyone in the world could blitz them. And there appeared before them Elijah, Moses, who were talking with Jesus. Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us put up three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He didn't know what to say. They were so frightened. Then a cloud appeared, covered them, and both boys came from the cloud. This is my son, whom I love. Listen to him. Suddenly, when they look around, they no longer saw anyone with them except Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus gave them orders not to tell anyone what they had seen until the Son of Man had risen from the dead. They kept the matter to them to themselves, discussing what rising from the dead mean. Dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. The name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Uh, thank you, Brother Glenn. Um, Brother Glenn po, uh, marami po rin ako natutunan sa aming pong youth leader na yan. Uh, thank you, Sister Ella Ruby, our very own. Uh, thank you po, uh, Brother Raul, uh, from our uh, Love Plak Chapter, San Fernando, Pampanga. Uh, imagine, nakaabot na po sa Cebu si Brother Raul. And let's talk about uh, just just a simple reflection. Uh, maganda rin po kasi yung sa ano sa ating first reading. It's about uh, Abraham, no, instructed by by the Lord, uh, by God, uh, to offer something, no. Magkakaroon po siya ng offering. Pero kakaiba po yung offering niya. Eh. Offering niya po ang iyo offer niya po yung kanyang anak, ang kanya pong anak na si Isaac, the only son. Uh, kung maano po natin istorya po ng, uh, ng, 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 ng kanya pong buhay eh, di po ba pareho na po silang matanda ng kanyang asawa si Sarah tapos sabi ng Panginoon na siya po, sila po ay magkakaanak and uh, eh, ulit ulit po yan istorya po na yan di ba? nagtatawa na po yung mag-asawa but with God nothing is impossible with, with, sa mga tao po sa ating po mga tao imposible pero sa, sa Panginoon wala pong imposible Eh, ang nakakatuwa po, ito na po, nung, nung offering na, siyempre, uh, si, si Isaac po, eh, pag nag-offer si Abraham, eh, laging kasama, so sanay sila. Sanay po sila na meron silang dalang uh, uh, offering na papatayin po or, or to call this, i-offer po, i-burnt offering uh, doon po sa mountain. Eh, wala po silang dalang mag-ama. Ang dala lang po ni, ni, ni Abraham po, eh, si Isaac lang po. yung kanya pong dala-dala po doon. So, of course, yung anak po ay eh, nagtatanong kung sino po yung kanya uh, yung kanya pong i-offer. Pero of course, siguro kung sa atin nga po yun, no? Mo, anak mo, i-offer mo. Eh, tapos uh, in case uh, sa case pa po ni nila Abraham eh kung kumbaga sa ano po, eh, wala nga silang anak, nung binigyan ng anak tapos ngayon kukunin pa. Para ang hirap. But ang nakita po natin doon, ang maganda pong nakita natin doon, yung pong fake Nino po? Ni Abraham. In the faith that, that Abraham may be sa another level eh. Kasi po yung sinasabi natin madalas sa pananampalataya, hindi po ba pagka, yung, pagka po tayo may karamdaman, pag may kahilingan tayo, na yung lalakasan mo yung, i-increase mo yung pananampalataya mo para makuha mo yung gusto mo. Pero ito pong kay, kay Abraham po eh, kakaiba. Kasi po bakit? Kasi anong kakaibahan po sa kanya? Kasi po yung pong, Faith po niya ay yung pong mag-aagree sa, sa will ng ating Panginoon. As we go on in our spiritual journey, 
in our life with the Lord as renewed, as charismatic, uh, little by little or not, or sabihin pa natin big by big, eh, natututunan po natin yung pong pananampalataya na ibang level eh, yung pong pananampalataya na hindi na po yung meron ka lang hinihingi, kaya po lalakasan yung pananampalataya mo. Yung pananampalataya natin yun, uh, na, na, nagkakaroon po ng improvement, nagkakaroon po ng magandang, magandang kalinawan na ang pananampalataya po natin ay nagiging pangitain na po na sumusunod tayo sa ating Panginoon. That is the level of faith of Abraham. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yun po yung, yun po yung, yun po yung sinunod um, ng, ng, ng ating uh, kapatid na si Abraham na i-offer niya. Can you imagine, brothers and sisters, no? Nung, nung, I, ano niya yung po yung yung kunyal yung ano yung, ano yung kunyal ah, yung yung panaksak yung pong yung pong night bigla pong nag-appear po yung anghel at tinawag po siya at sabi sa kanya huwag niyang gagawin yun kasi bakit po nakita ng Panginoon gaano ang pagmamahal ng ating kapatid na si Abraham sa ating Panginoon mas mahal ni Abraham ang Panginoon kesa doon sa kanyang anak na si Isaac the only son Oh wow, brothers and sisters, hallelujah. Sa totoo lang, eh, yung, pong, yung pong pananampalataya po na yun, eh, kung minsan nararanasan din po natin. Eh. Merong, merong mga, may mga instances o may mga pangyayari po sa ating buhay, no? sa ating relasyon, sa ating, sa, sa ating pong, uh, sa health, sa karamdaman. Eh, eh minsan na ano po natin doon, eh, Lord, bakit po naman ano, ay, ako'y tagapanglingkod mo? Eh, ito nga po, eh. Al- alam po ng lahat kasi sa napakarami pong nagdasal by the way marami pong salamat sa inyong pong panalangin eh, if I may count it more than 500 people prayed for me aside from my friends aside from my relatives aside from my family uh, brothers and sisters salamat po uh, prayer book mountain and that is that is a faith no But, but the level is yung, yung faith po na usual po natin, yung bang pag may karamdaman ka, eh meron kang kagalingan. No? Itataas mo, ilala, ano mo yung pananapalataya. Meron nga po ako nabasa, ah, ikaw pa, Brother Vic, tagapanglingkod ka ng Panginoon, hindi ka pa mabayaan ni Lord. Um, okay po yun, okay din po yun. Pero, pero someti- sometimes, na- naisip-isip ko po na, wow, praise God. Uh, ito pong nangyari sa akin na uh, trouble sa akin tiyan and up to t- this week I need to have a uh, laboratory test uh, to para po makita kung ano po yung nangyari po ng gusto sa akin tiyan but but that the level of faith is different yung sinasabi ko nung na-share ko po doon na uh, uh, I learned that there is no resurrection without crucifixion sometimes we don't want to embrace To, to embrace the cross of our life. Sometimes we don't want to embrace our our difficulties. Sometimes we don't want uh, gusto natin yung problema natin wala yan. Gusto natin yung sakit natin mawala. Gusto natin yung problema sa anak, problema sa asawa, problema sa biyanan. Gusto natin wala. Gusto natin maging hawa. Sometimes yun yung level of faith ng nakikita na po nating usual. Um Don't we know, brothers and sisters, that um, in the cross there is Christ? On that suffering there is, there, is, there, there is Christ. In that desert of our life, there is God there, like Moses to the promised land. Oh, praise God. Praise God, brothers and sisters. Um, ang, ang laki po nun. Uh, yung, kung, 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 kung susukatin natin uh, yung, yung cross na dala-dala, yung sinasabi po natin na, uh, yung sa cross po na yun na binibitawa natin, hindi natin alam, si Jesus, yun nandun po sa cross po na yun. And so, Abraham, nagulat po siya. No? Siyempre, wow, hallelujah, praise God. Hindi, hindi, kinuha, ng, hindi kinuha ng Panginoon, hindi pinayagan ng Panginoon na ma-offer si Isaac. Why? It is because nakita ng Diyos yung level of faith ni Abraham, na tunay na nanampalataya, ang pananampalataya ay tunay na pagmamahal natin sa ating Panginoon. And in the second reading, brothers and sisters, Paul, uh, in the letter of Paul to the Romans, sinasabi niya po doon na uh, if, if Christ is with us, kung tayo po nasa Panginoon, who can be against us? No? Uh, yun nga eh, kung tayo ay na kay Jesus, eh, sino nga po ba ang, 
ang gagapi sa atin. Sino nga po ba ang tatalo sa atin? Sakit ba? Hindi. No? Karamdaman po ba? Hindi po. No? Problema po ba? Hindi po. Kawalan po ba ng pera? Hindi po. Kasi nasa Panginoon ka. Sarap. Narinig ko si yung sharing ni Brother Jig kanina sa chapters meeting. Totoo nga po yun eh. Yung pong, yung pong pananampalataya na ang nakikita natin sa problema ay yung pong ang ating Panginoon. No? Hindi yung uh, uh, problema na nakikita natin, galit tayo sa problema, pangit yung problema. Pero hindi sa suffering sa atin, sa desert natin, nakikita natin ng Diyos. There is hope. There is hope. Uh, I've read um, uh, the, the, the reflection of uh, Monsignor uh, Dakay uh, this, 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 this day. Yung po sinasabi niya, hope, hope no, in the darkness. There is light. Kaya nga po, ganda, ang ganda nung, nung sharing ni, ni, ni Brother Glenn, eh. yung, yung kanya pong uh, topic po na from darkness to light. No? There is hope there. Ang tawag po doon sa, sa, sa mga nagninegosyo, my north star. No? May nakikita po siya doon liwanag na yun po yung ine-aim po niya. No? Uh, in every tunnel, brothers and sisters, pag pumasok ka sa tunnel, ang dilim. Pero makikita mo doon sa dulo mayroong liwanag. And habang lumalapit ka po doon sa liwanag, lumalaki po ang liwanag. Ganun po ang ibig sabihin na pag lumalapit tayo sa ating Panginoong Jesus, pag lumalapit ka kay Jesus, kapatid, for sure, lumiliwanag ang buhay mo. Nagagapi yung darkness. Nawawala po yung mga dilim sa ating buhay. No one is exempted to trials. No one is exempted to difficulties. Even priests, eh, na, na, na-afflict po ng COVID. No one is exempted in this pandemic. But in this pandemic, we can see the glory of God if you are with Christ. Pero kung ang tinitingnan lang po natin lagi, pangit, kung ang tinitingnan lang po natin lagi yung problema ng pandemic po na ito, my dear brothers and sisters, wala po tayong makikita kundi puro kadiliman. Wala po tayong maradabda, may experience, madadama, kundi puro kadiliman ng ating buhay. In the gospel for today, brothers and sisters, we can see the transfiguration no, ng, ng, ating, ng ating Panginoon. The charity. No? Yung mga kaibigan niya po, si James, si John, no? uh, isinama niya po sa isang lugar para po magkaroon sila ng siguro fellowship. No? Eh, alam niya, di ba? Minsan tayo po, eh, di ba? Speaking of friends, di ba? Meron tayong yung the, 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 best, the best of friends na doon natin na i-unload, doon tayo nakikipagtawanan, doon tayo nakikipagbiruan, no holds bar yung ginagawa po natin. Eh, yun po yung pangyayari na nakita po natin. Doon po sa, doon po sa bundok po na yun, nakasama niya po, sino po? <clears throat> yung kanya po mga disipulo na malapit po sa kanya. Oh, praise God. Transfiguration. May isa makita po natin. No? Figure of God, uh, the figure of God is Jesus. No? Na si Jesus mismo bumaba po sa atin dito para po magpakatao, para po tayo ay, ay turuan na magpakadiyos. No? Diyos na ang sarap-sarap ng buhay sa langit, bumaba pa para sa iyo at para sa akin na madumi. Bakit? Kasi makasalanan. Hindi po ba? Meron tayong gospel noon, yung meketongin. Ang dumi, pagka po may ketong, may sakit, meron po kasalanan. But Jesus, hindi po siya, hindi po siya, hindi po siya nandiri. Hindi po siya nandiri doon sa may ketong. Inayos niya po. Pinagaling niya po, brothers and sisters. And so, yung figure ng ating, ng ating Diyos Ama, in the person of Jesus, we can found it in John 3.16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that he, whoever believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. And who is the Son? Jesus Christ. The Gospel. But that Jesus, yung pong ating Panginoong Jesus po na yun, na tinutoring natin Diyos, eh, na disfigure, dinisfigure, through cross. Bakit po? Because of my sin. Because of our sin. Dahil po sa ating karumihan, dahil po sa ating mga kasalanan, na disfigure ang ating Panginoon. Doon siya namatay sa cross. Dahil sa iyo, dahil sa akin. Na cross na yon na dapat po sana tayo ang nakapako. Dapat po sana tayo nakabayubay sa cross. Bakit? Kasi po tayo ang makasalanan. 
Pero inako ni Jesus, bakit? For us to be saved. Para po tayo mag-transfigure. Mag-transfigure po para saan? Sa ating pong buhay. Na mawala po yung kadiliman ng ating buhay. Na ang ating, ang ating tular na pananampalataya ay pananampalataya ni Abraham na they will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yun yung, yun yung inahanap sa atin ng ating Panginoon. Yung following the will of God. And that is the faith that God is asking us. Faith, brothers and sisters, is the foundation of our Christian life. Ang ating pong pananampalataya, yun po yung poste, yun po yung malaking poste, yun po yung pundasyon ng ating Christian life. Mahirap po sumunod, kapatid, sa ating Panginoon kung wala po tayong pananampalataya. Kung lagi lang po natin nakikita yung hihilingin natin sa ating Panginoon. Kung lagi lang po natin nakikita yung pong, yung pong maging malinis po tayo doon sa karumihan po natin. Ilan po yung pinapadama sa atin ng ating Panginoon ngayon eh? Yung sa transfiguration. No? Uh, ang bawat isa po sa atin, magta-transfigure din po. Katulad ni Jesus. Bakit po nawala na po yung kadiliman? Nawala na po yung kasalanan? Patungo sa landas ng kalinisan. Sa landas ng buhay. Sa landas ng liwanag. And who is that, that light? Sino po yung liwanag? Ang ating Panginoon Jesus. Sa tatlumpot apat na taon na pakikipag-ugnayan ng journey ko po sa ating Panginoon, uh, little by little, as I go on, na, nagiging iba eh. Nagiging iba po yung pananaw ng, 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 ng pananaw kung paano po po basahin niyo po yung banan ng kasulatan na, na ang banan ng kasulatan, ang Word of God, when we read it, uh, para bang, para bang ang, ang nakikita po natin, how God talk to us na pag, pag, pag Pagka po binasa po natin yon, tayo po mismo nagkakaroon ng striking point para po magkaroon ng pagbabago. Para tayo pumunta sa ating Panginoon. Sumama sa ating Panginoon. Kaya nga, ang sarap eh. Uh, pag tinawag po tayo ng ating Panginoon, sabi ng Panginoon, Come, follow me. Come, follow me. Dalawa lang. Come, follow. Paanyaya yung come. Imbitasyon ng ating Panginoon. No? Hindi obligasyon, sabi nga ni Brother Jake. Hindi obligasyon kung hindi imbitasyon sa bawat isa po sa atin. Hindi po tayo pipilitin ng ating Panginoon, sa totoo lang, na sumunod sa Kanya. Iniimbita lang po tayo. Kaya nga sabi niya, come, follow me. Minsan marami pong tao na nahihirapan o nagdadalawang isip para po sumunod sa ating Panginoon sa Kanyang paanyaya. Yung siya sabi niya, come, hesitant. Eh, ganun din po ako noon eh, nung una eh. Hesitant ako sumunod sa ating Panginoon. Bakit po? Number one, wala akong alam. Number two, marami akong kasalanan. Iniisip ko, worth ba ako? Iniisip ko kung, kung paano-paano kung gagamitin ng Panginoon, wala naman akong alam. Ang alam ko lang naman, maghanap buhay. Ang alam ko lang naman, mabuhay sa mundong ito. Ang alam ko lang naman, magkaroon ng bahay, magkaroon ng hanap buhay, kumain, matulog. As we, as I go on every day. Di po ba? Minsan, isipin po natin yung everyday na buhay po natin. Simula sa umaga sa mamatulog po tayo. Ulit-ulit. 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 But where is God there in our life? Do sa ulit-ulit natin buhay. Did we see God? Did we see Jesus in our life? Or, or we, we see God and we uh, inabsorb tayo ng ating Panginoon. But we share, did, did we share Jesus to others? Did you, did you share God? Did you share the word of God to others? To your husband? To your wife? To your children? To our children? To our parents? To our neighbors? To our barkada? O madalas, yung word of God, eh doon lang po sa labla. pag na natin, wala na. Pagsama na natin sa opisina, wala na. Tangay na naman tayo ng darkness. Hindi ng light. Bring always light. Ang sarap, ang sarap alalahanin po, kapatid, yung pong recommitment po natin, ha, yung kandila, sisindihan po natin. Na pag tinitingnan mo yung kandila, haba po siya, lumiliit, lumiliit, lumiliit. Makikita po natin, nawawala po yung, yung upos niya, yung kandila po na, na natutunaw. At makikita po natin, bago natunaw po yung kandila, nagbigay ng liwanan. Ganun po yung, ganun po yung inaasahan sa atin ng Panginoon. Na bago sana mawala tayo dito sa mundong ito, nagkaroon man lamang ng liwanag para sa ibang tao. Na hindi lamang tayo ang 
nagtamasa ng liwanag. And so, brothers and sisters, ang paanyaya sa atin ng Panginoon, from darkness to light, yun po yung paanyaya sa atin ng ating Panginoon. From darkness to light. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, not the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Panginoon, tunay nga po, minsan, iniisip namin, puro na lang kadiliman, puro lang problema, puro na lang sakit. Kawalan, puro kawalan, Panginoon. Minsan din namin naalala na Ikaw na nagbigay ng liwanag sa amin. Na dahil sa iniisip namin problema, natatakpan po yung liwanag. Muli, Lord God, pawiin mo po yung dilim po na ito. Bigyan mo kami ng liwanag, o oh, Panginoon. Kami pong lahat ng tao, Panginoon, kailangan ka namin. Kasi kung wala ka po, wala po kami mag -aawa. Yes, Lord God, all people need you. People need the Lord. Amen. Every day they pass me by I can see it in their eyes Empty people filled with care Headed who knows where On they go through private pain Living fields of fear Left their hearts Their silent cries Only Jesus hears People need the Lord People need the Lord Broken dreams is the open door. People need the Lord. People need the Lord. When will we realize? People need. Take his light to a world where wrong seems right. What would be too great a cost for sharing love with ones is lost? Through his love, our hearts can feel all the grief they bear. of life only we can share people need the Lord people need the Lord at the end of a broken dreams is the open door
Intercession is the highest expression of love. It is loving in spirit, applying spiritual power to another person. It will overpower brothers and sisters. So let us pray for our brothers and sisters na makikita po natin sa screen. Tayo po na nag-join po ngayon. Let us raise our right hand in front of our uh, cell phone, our laptop, our gadgets, brothers and sisters. And with faith, let us pray for our brothers and sisters. Heavenly Father, we call on you right now in a special way. It is through your power that we were created. Every breath we take, every morning we wake up, and every moment of every hour we live under your power. Father God, we ask you now to touch us with the same power. Touch each and every one of us, those, especially those who are sick, O oh Lord God. For if you created us from nothing, you can certainly recreate us again. Fill us with your healing power of your spirit. Cast out anything that should not be in us. Repair what is broken. Root out any unproductive cells. Open any black arteries, O oh Lord God, or veins. Rebuild any damaged areas. Remove all inflammation and cleanse any infection. Let the warm of your healing love pass through our body to make new any unhealthy areas so that our body will function in the way you created us to function, O oh Lord God. Like Brother Big experiencing, experiencing healing, Lord God, we ask you to do it also for each and every one of us. And so, Father, restore us to full health in mind, body, and spirit so that we may serve you the rest of our life. Yes, Lord God, we have brothers and sisters now who have a special intention, Lord God, para sa kanyang pamilya, para sa kanyang trabaho, para sa kanyang business sa Panginoon, para sa kanyang buong kamag-anak sa kanyang magulang. Lord God, sa oras po na ito, inihiling po namin sa iyo na basbasan mo po ang mga intention na po na ito. All these things, O Lord God, we ask in the mighty of our Son, Jesus, the power of the Holy Spirit, and with the intercession of our dearly Mother Mary, Amen and Amen and Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen and Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, thank you very very much, brothers and sisters. Uh, marami po salamat kay uh, Brother Glenn, our, our guest speaker. Uh, thank you very much, Brother Raul, sa napaka-inspiring po. Na, <clears throat> alam na po natin yun eh. Uh, always God will make a way for each and every one of us, brothers and sisters. Whatever difficulties, sigurado gagawa ng para, Panginoon ng paraan para po sa atin. Sister Ella, always <laughs> salamat po. Salamat, Brother Rick, Sister Opel, sa pag-aalaw na makasama ko lagi si Sister Ella. Inspiring us to sing. Yes, be still. No that God is with us. Brother Armel, uh, si Brother Allah po ay isa po siyang alagad ng batas sa PNP sa Manila. Uh, at siya po ay naglilingkod sa atin sa Love Plaque, Maine. Brother Armel, salamat po sa iyo. Saludo po ako sa inyo. Thank you very much. Totoo yun, sabi mo na yun, kinantamo po na yun. People need the Lord. <clears throat> the Love Plaque Cebu, be inspired, would like to thank God for, for all brothers and sisters that who have joined us tonight, brothers and sisters. <coughs> we hope and we pray that we have inspired you. Uh, sorry po again, uh, kung meron po kami nasabi, meron po kami nagawa na hindi po ka nais-nais, hayaan nyo po na sana po ma-improve po namin ito sa susunod. Kaya po sa susunod po na linggo, susunod po na Sunday, maganda po yung susunod po natin topic. Maganda rin po yung mga kanta po na ating pariringgan, brothers and sisters. Thank you and God bless us all. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And then the Father, not the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Thank you and God bless us all, brothers and sisters. Amen. <laughs>